Hey guys, in this video I'll be sharing what the average Australian has in their super based on their age bracket and gender. I'll be using the latest data out of the Australian tax office, so you'll be able to get the most recent updates in this inflationary environment. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. I post a lot of content in the personal finance and investing space. Let's get into it. So, what is super? Super is Australia's compulsory retirement savings scheme. It was rolled out to everyone in Australia in 1992, but before then, it was managed on a micro scale by trade unions in specific sectors. In 1992, the government rolled out a nationwide compulsory scheme, starting with an employer contribution of between 3 and 4%. As with many nations around the world, there are some major demographic shifts which are putting a strain on the superannuation system. First, of course, is the fact that people are living longer. With political reluctance to increase the retirement age, the duration of retirement is increasing, which will cost a greater amount to fund. Australia's retirement age is 67, from which citizens can apply for the pension. According to the World Bank, Australia's life expectancy is 83 years of age, meaning the average person needs to fund a whopping 26 years of retirement. Retirement isn't cheap, and governments have sought ways to shift this burden onto employers and employees over their lifetimes. The second reason, which ties into the first, is that people weren't saving nearly enough on their own. A forced super scheme was required to ensure everyone plays their part in funding this burden. Since 1992, the scheme has been fiddled around with a fair bit. Here you can see some of the early changes where employees and even the government were contributing. Employer contribution contributions have risen from a low of 3% in 1992 to 9% in 2002, 11% today, and is rising to a further 12% in 2025. With an estimated 3.5 trillion Australian dollars in retirement assets, or 2.1 trillion US dollars, Australia has the world's fourth largest retirement asset pool after the US, Canada, and the UK. Determining the right super balance for a comfortable retirement involves understanding various factors including lifestyle expectations and annual expenditure. The Association of Superannuation Funds of Australia, also known as AFSFA, publishes an annual retirement standard which outlines the annual budget needed by the average Australian to fund their retirement. AFSA split their analysis into two groups, the modest retirees and the comfortable ones. This table here shows the difference in lifestyle you can expect between them both as well as just receiving the basic pension at 67. Obviously, a comfortable lifestyle looks a lot better and would likely give you a longer life expectancy too from the improved healthcare and access to convenience. Obviously, if you're watching my YouTube channel, you should be aspiring for a comfortable lifestyle. For a comfortable retirement, AFSA recommends single people save about $600,000 by 67, or for a couple, about $700,000. A modest retirement, on the other hand, would set a retiree back about $100,000, which, to be fair, sounds a bit low. These retirement sums relate to the typical expenses required to meet this standard. AFSA expect a comfortable retirement to cost a single retiree about $51,000 a year, while a couple would cost $72,000. On the other hand, a modest lifestyle would cost a single retiree $33,000 a year, or a couple $47,000. There are some great tools over at the AFSA website, so make sure to check them out. Jumping into the numbers, I have data provided directly from the Australian Tax Office. The most recent data is from 2002. 21. Here we'll be able to see the average and median super balances by age and gender. Starting with the under 18s, the median balance is just $238. The average is a much higher $9,600, but let's be honest, this is likely to be manipulated by parents putting money in. Splitting this by gender, the boys had a median value of $307, while the girls had a median balance of $187. These amounts, of course, are quite low, because many kids in this demographic are yet to start work. Some kids that left school early to pursue trades or join the workforce will skew this data up slightly, so there isn't much to analyse here. The next age bracket is 18 to 24, with 1.8 million Australians falling into this group. The median balance is a little over $4,000 and an average of $7,700. In this age group, you'd see a mix of university students, young graduates, and those that join the workforce after high school. They are just starting on their earning journey, so their super balances are on the lower end. Splitting this by gender, the men had a median value of $4,000 2200 while the woman had a lower balance of 3700 Already among our two younger groups, we're seeing a gap in the woman's super balances. Unfortunately, right through this analysis, it's a consistent theme that we'll touch on later in this video. After that, we have our 25 to 29 age group. These are the young workers that are starting to climb the corporate ranks. Many are still learning the tricks of their trades, while others are starting to manage others in their line of work. We see a big leap here in the median balances, increasing from $4,000 to $17,000. The average 
sits at 24,000. Breaking this down by gender, we have a rare case where the women have a greater super balance than the men. The median men's balance is 17,200, while the women sit at a higher 17,500. As we come up to the 30 to 34 age group, the gender divide starts to widen. It's at this age many workers will be eyeing up managerial positions, which pay more, therefore allowing them to make greater contributions to their super. It's also the age group where the average couple starts to have children. The median super balance at this age is 38,700, and the average is 51,400. Men have a median balance of $41,800, while the women have a median balance of 35,700. This is a difference of over $6,000, where women were actually beating the guys in the age bracket just before this one. We'll come to this later in the video. In the 34 to 39 age group, the median balance stood at $65,400 and the average $86,100. This is a troubling statistic, as according to ASFA, a person aspiring to have a comfortable retirement should have at least $122,500 saved for retirement by this age. The median of just $65,000 is of course just half of this. In 2023, AFSA published a report stating just 30% of retirees today can afford a comfortable retirement. By 2050, they hope this will increase to 50%. So if you're watching this video now, make sure to put enough aside to meet their guidelines. Men had a median balance of $74,100, while women had a median of $57,400. In the 40 to 44 age bracket, the median balance in Australia is $91,600, and the average is $124,000. The gap between the men and women continues to widen, with the men's median being $106,800, and the women's being $77,600. We're now up to the 45 to 49 year group, where many people start reaching their peak earnings, so their contributions to super are among the highest at this age. The median super balance here across Australia is $116,900. The men have a median of $139,900 and the women $96,600. Now we're up to the 50 to 54 age group, which is when many will start thinking more seriously about their retirement. The median super balance here is $137,900, with the men sitting at a median of $160,000 and the woman 112,900. When we get to the 55 to 59 age group, we begin to see the biggest gap between the men's and women's super balances. This is troubling as men have a median balance of $191,300, while the women are down at $130,700, a gap of over $60,000. The median for this age group sits at $158,500. The 60 to 64 age bracket is an interesting one. This is because this group has just a few years remaining before before they retire. As we covered earlier, a couple that wants a comfortable retirement needs roughly $690,000. The median in this age group, however, sits at just 183,500 which as a couple sits at half the required level. The median for men in this bracket is $212,000, and women, $158,800. At 65 to 69, many in this group will already be retired. This data from the ATO suggests that very few draw their full savings at 67 years of age, as the median balance continues to grow from the previous age band. Here, the median balance is $207,500. For men, it stands at $214,000, while for women, it's $201,200. Peak savings, interestingly, is in the 70 to 74 age band, with the median super balance sitting at $214,400. So obviously, a lot of retirees sit on their funds longer than 65 when they can start withdrawing. The gap between men and women closes at this point too, with just a couple grand between them. The median men's balance is $216,000, while for women, it's $212,000. And finally, we have the 75 plus age bracket, with the median balance dropping to $171,700 as many retirees start tapping into their reserves. Throughout this analysis, it is clear there are major differences between the super balances for men and women. There are systemic issues that put the average woman in a worse position than men, despite the financial burden of retirement being worse due to having a longer life expectancy. Many factors unfairly fall on women's shoulders, such as pay disparities, need to care for the household, promotion bias, among others. These insights reveal that the superannuation gap is not merely a result of individual choice,
choices, but is deeply rooted in societal structures and norms that disadvantage women in the workforce and, by extension, in their retirement planning. Addressing these disparities requires concerted efforts from both government and private sector to create a more equitable superannuation system. So that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more content just like it, please make sure to subscribe down below. I post a lot of content in the personal finance and investing space. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.